Alcida. Kenny Autry is going to make the uh, uh, presentation here, but I want I wish you would uh, introduce your uh, Alcida board members that are here, Kenny. Yeah, I was going to do that, Judge. But uh, we have here tonight uh, Darren Luttrell, Debbie Bayman, and Burl Morris. Any others in the back anywhere? So those three, uh, I see. And we got Renetta Romero, Secretary of Treasurer. She and Ann Milton do a lot of work for us. Before I give the court uh, old city's recommendation, of course, the executive director, which we, as a board, unanimously finished <coughs> last week, uh, I'd like for Debbie Bayman to give a rundown on the process that OCDA has used for the past several months going through all these candidates. Uh, as the chairman of the screening committee, which was composed of um, Debbie C.C. Robinson, Darren Luttrell, uh, Renata Romero, and David Figg. Uh, they've done a great job, a lot of work, a lot of time into it. So, Debbie, would you tell us about the process? I just want to give you just a brief history of what we went through. We put out uh, the information about the job on all the sites that uh, were available, even monster.com. And initially we got in eight resumes. And uh, as the committee, we went through and narrowed these eight down to three. And one was from Connecticut, one was from Owensboro, and one was from Bowling Green. So the one from Owensboro and Bowling Green, we interviewed in person and the one from Connecticut we initially interviewed by phone and we called back the person from Bowling Green and then had a Skype interview with the person from Connecticut and they were good interviews uh, the one from Connecticut was very well qualified he I think he was expecting a lot more money than we were able to give him and we just weren't satisfied with this group. So Cece, Darren, and I went on the radio show with Jerry Wright and kind of put the information out again. You know, we, of course, in a perfect world, we want someone from Ohio County that loves Ohio County, passionate about Ohio County. And we just put it out, do you know anyone, children, grandchildren, niece, nephew, anyone that would be qualified for this job? And we had three more applicants come in, and we interviewed all three. All three interviewed very well. But there was one that um, stuck out. Um, we felt had the passion, the knowledge, um, the get up and go to go out, and not only to bring new businesses in, but to develop and nurture the businesses already here in Ohio County, especially the small, which I'm a part of, but but especially the small businesses. And this person had already had ideas in place, already had ideas in mind, already he already has contacts with the state on the state level. So we made our choice and gave our choice to the board. And as Kim said, our choice was unanimous, unanimously voted on and our choice is Chase Vincent. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, uh, Burrow, you have a word? Okay. With that? I'm sorry. Okay, at this time I'd like to recommend to the judge uh, he put up uh, Chase Vincent's name as our executive director and uh, we're looking forward to a good future for Chase. I know uh, he's got everything we're looking for. so. I put that name up, Chase Vincent, as executive director of OCDA. I'll second that. Uh, I think we need to go ahead and put the salary information okay, in the motion. Okay, it's fifty thousand a year. At fifty thousand a year, second by uh, Kenny for e meeting purposes. And next thing is a roll call vote. Remember, well, one of the effective they need to put that in there as well. He's got to give a thirty-day notice. <coughs>
insurance, whatever. All right, let's do a roll call. Yes. Thomas? Yes. Ham? Yes. Audrey? Yes. Johnston? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Uh, so that, that motion carries. So we do now have an OC to direct after, after several months of uh, labor from all of you. <laughs> and the, yeah, you see Darren, Darren expanding himself as well as the original panel that we had. And then the OC, the board. We just have a lot of people involved. And we brought the best uh, people we could get on board to help make this decision. And, uh, and, we, and we knew that the most important thing in their job was choosing this uh, director. And uh, I'm, really, I'm really proud of that effort. And uh, the fact that it happens to be somebody I know really well and have, uh, have known really well since high school, when he was in high school, not me, uh, then I'm really proud of this and really look forward to, uh, to, to this endeavor. And uh, thank you. I want to congratulate the board. Appreciate all the work you guys have done for us to, to find the person. Because uh, you know, we've been going to like the last few conferences, and it's going on tomorrow about economic development. They're, they were kind of tickled to death that Ohio County's finally, you know, kind of looking this way. So they were, they were, they were asking questions about it. So appreciate all your work. Yes, sir. <coughs> I was invited to say something in the decline, but can I? Pull that we'll talk about it again. Okay, come on. Come on up here where we can hear you. Well, I think they can hear me. If anyone can't hear me, you've never had any short comments in your life. <laughs> and that's that's, a, that's one here. of my <laughs> fans. <laughs> uh, my, name, my name is Beryl Morris, and uh, I, I would like to say that uh, the committee I serve on, you're perhaps aware of this, I represent small business, and there is, uh, I would have to think and to myself and relay to you that I've served on committees and boards throughout my adult life, and I have not served on a board nor a committee that w has been less political. Uh, that has not has been as dedicated as this board uh, in trying to select someone that can lead Kentucky or lead Ohio County into the future. And I think we do all understand that this is not a quick turnaround. This is not a quick fix. And uh, I'm happy that we chose the young man we did confident he has a high degree of intelligence. Uh, he certainly has an ego, which I like. And uh, so it's an honor for me to serve, and I hope, I would say this, and I know you've been reading and seeing all the things that we all see and are exposed to. You know, Kentucky is really, at, not at the bottom, but I think 47th in the nation in what we're doing with recruiting industry. We're seeing this migration continue to the south. And I, I, you don't want to hear that again. You all know that. But I would like to say to this court and future court members that some are here, it gives this thing some time. Give it a chance. And I'm optimistic that all Ohio Counties will benefit. Thank you. I think a round of applause is in order for the uh, board to start. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, do you have anything? Chase, do you want to say anything? Chase, would you like to say something uh, to us? I'd just like to say thank you for the opportunity. I look forward to, to serving the county and hopefully uh, not only getting some new industry in here, but helping the current businesses thrive. And uh, if there's anything I can do for anybody in here, don't hesitate to, to let me know. Look forward to serving the county. Thank you. Yes, and in case anybody didn't know, uh, Chase has been working at, at grad for quite a while and has, a, and, and has experience, uh, has gained experience at grad. 
that's uh, certainly applicable to this job. Uh, so there, there's experience for folks to home.